We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees. Yankee baseball starts now. Jay Happ will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, thanks, Matt. Jay Happ, big, tall guy, about 6'4", 215 pounds. It's really put things together. Not overpowering, but pinpoint control. Reminds me a lot of former AL Cy Young Award winner Cliff Lee. Control with really good stuff, good fastball, good changeup, and his curveball is getting a lot better. At the plate, Jose Iglesias. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. And that misses one and one. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' leadoff hitter. Temperature at first pitch. There it is, 79 degrees as we get things started tonight. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game, so we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. The left field, number 25. Fouled off. Anthony. 37 years old. He's a veteran of 13 years at the major league level, which really points to the consistency he's shown since he first broke in. Yeah, Maddie, this guy has had an amazing career. And you know what? It's a testament to how hard he's worked, the changes he's had to make. This is a game of adjustments, and you don't hang around this long if you're not prepared to make some adjustments along the way. High and deep down the left field line. A ball that's carrying. And he makes the catch in the corner. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. What do we need to know about these guys for this evening's matchup on the road, d -Row? Well, Matty, you walk into this yard today, and it's nothing but a hitter's park. But that can work against you at times. You have to stay within yourself. You can't just be turning and burning on everything. Stay within the game plan. Belted high and deep into right center. Meanwhile, this ball is into right center, and that ought to be good enough for extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. As we take another look here, you can see it's a two-seam fastball running away from him at the plate. So he does this smart thing, not trying to pull it or just rolling over it, just goes with it and has enough juice on it to drive it for a double. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Hard hit ball to second. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. And not in time as the run scores. Now the throw comes in to hold that second runner at third, so they're at the corners now with still only one away. D.J. Stewart comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Lays off that time, and it's one and two going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Got him to go down swinging there. DJ Stewart is the second out of the opening frame. Rio Ruiz is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. And he takes strike two. I always felt though too you had to cover away. If a guy's going to bury you in three times in a row you tip your cap and walk back to the dugout because that's not easy to do. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. It's a run on two hits here for Baltimore. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Orioles one and the Yankees nothing. Wade LeBlanc, the Louisiana-born left-hander, will get the start on the mound. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. So digging in now, D.J. LeMayhew. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Here's the 0-1 pitch. 
Fastball runs off the outside. It's one and one. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. The 3 2 pitch. This is popped up. Iglesias is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Thoughts, Dan? Who stands out? Matt, I can't wait to see what Aaron Judge has in store. He's such a great talent, the kind of talent that can dominate a game, a, a perennial all-star, and win some awards. He's one of the best in the game today, and he's always fun to watch. That is good. The first base Striding base. into the box, Luke Voigt, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. He's set, and the pitch. Two out, nobody on. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Step out of the box, take a deep breath. After spitting on that changeup, you might have bought yourself a fastball. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. He'll get us started in the top of the second. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Skied into very shallow right. Judge has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. All right, here's how the Bronx Bombers are going to set up defensively today. And the guy I want to focus on is second baseman D.J. LeMayhew. I think what we need to take into consideration is his ability to play that position at six foot four, six foot five, with soft hands and the ability to turn a double play. We already know he's an offensive force. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate as he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. Gardner is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Batting on. Now at the plate, Cedric Mullins. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 1. Now the pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop, Torres. Hit on the ground to third. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. All right, let's take a look at the defensive alignment for the Orioles. And let's focus our attention on one of the most dynamic defenders in our sport, and that's shortstop Jose Iglesias. I want to tell one of our camera guys, do not take your lens off this guy because he is going to make a highlight real play every game, and I guarantee something goes down today. Oh, uh, not fooled one bit by the changeup as he smokes this one to deep left field. That one will not be coming back a home run. A solo shot here to left, and the Yankees have drawn even now at one apiece. As soon as this thing left the bat, you knew it had the distance to get out of here. The only question was whether it was going to stay fair or not. And that question was answered with a resounding doink as it caromed off the foul pole for a homer. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. 
as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1. And he misses with it one and one. Bases are empty one man out. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. The one two. Swing line drive that's going to be trouble. Running hard he's digging for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. Yeah, I think he was sitting on the fastball, so he got the changeup. He was way out in front of it, but he kept his hands back long enough to keep it fair down the line. That's not always easy to do. Gary Sanchez comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. From the belt, the pitch. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Wings through it for strike number two. Urshela leads off second with one gun in the inning. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw gets him, two down. Digging in now for the Yankees. Brett Gardner trying to cash in here in his first at bat with a runner at third and two gone. He's set. Here it comes. Comes set. The 0-1. I got a ball. One strike. Here's a cold strike on the curveball. One and two. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. But the Yankees are able to tie things up on the solo home run. We've played two, all tied at one and one. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. There's a swing and a high pop up. And there's your first out of the inning. Ready now for Baltimore. Anthony Santander. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. A quick glove at third, and there are two gone. Now back. And here's Renato Nunez. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. All tied at 1 and 1. Stepping in, Kyle Higashioka, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the stretch, down the third baseline, but a foul ball here, 0-1. Now here's the pitch. Foul tip held on to behind the plate at strike two. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. So one away here with the bases empty and that'll bring in D.J. LeMayhew. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. 2-0 and now. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair. Two and one. One out, nobody on. Now here's a bouncing ball headed for Iglesias at short. And 
no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. And that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield now. It is. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Mark, Dan, and I are back with more after this. New inning set to get underway. And set to go is the rookie first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. Now here it comes. Mountcastle. The wind up and the 0 1. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The Go best back. ones have that late Number action 24. that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Judges under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batter. Third baseman. First offering on its way. Line toward right center. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. He had just retired nine straight batters right there. He hadn't been in a stretch in a long time. Let's see if the offense can break through. Hanser Alberto is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Fouled away. Now a swing and he pops it foul behind the plate. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory and that ends the inning. One left for the Orioles. On to the bottom of the fourth. Tied 1-1. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next Lead will be the Lord imposing Lord power bat. Luke Voigt. First pitch coming. Four. Here it is. And that's by him. It's 0-1. Man, he's looking sharp so far. 80% of his first pitches are for strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. change up and he ain't buying it one and two and it's two balls and two strikes now I got to count two and two going good cutting action to that pitch is that's the first out of the inning that was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Labor Torres will stand in for the second time as he watches one miss low. It's a ball and no strikes. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. When you drive the ball into the gap like that, nothing but good things can happen. Neither one of the outfielders had the wheels to catch up to it, and he glides easily into second for a double. Now we'll see if the guys behind him can get him in. Aaron Hicks is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's 1-0. Oh. Swing and a ground ball to third. And there are two away now. Trying to pick now things bad. up where we left off. Gio Urshela, runner in scoring position with Sugan. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw in time and the side is retired. One left for the Yankees. Fifth inning coming up. Tied at one. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings. 
and he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. They're struggling to drive the baseball into the gaps right now as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs, but he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone their way to this point, but that shouldn't mean they can't put together some great swings the rest of the way. Thank you, Heidi. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Cedric Mullins will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. One run on three hits and no errors for the Orioles so far. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. The batter, the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. Here comes the first pitch. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Last half of the fifth coming up, all tied at 1-1. One and one. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. All right, Heidi, thank you. And there's ball one. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And the throw is there to record the first out. Stepping in, Brett Gardner looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And now pitch on the way. Tried to golf at it, but he missed strike one. And that one cut a little too much. A ball and a strike. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. This one to right field and deep off the bat of Gardner. Right fielder looking up, and it's gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And the Yankees take the lead. It's two to one. There's still some game left to be played, but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. Now back, the pitcher, Kyle Higashioka. So now to the plate, Kyle Higashioka. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Got him to reach for it there as this is grounded to short. Throw gets him to them. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up DJ LeMayhew. First pitch on its way. Slow roller left side. And the off balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and his side is retired. 
The Yankees do get one on the solo homer through five innings. Two to one New York. Anthony Santander the next to bat and then he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No your one two three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action and they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around though. We'll see if it happens. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball and the count holds it 0 and 2. High in the air out to center field. Here's Hicks to put it away and that's out number one. The back. To the plate now is the designated hitter Renato Nunez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And he popped him up back into foul territory behind first. But this will land untouched. And this is swung out and missed. So it's two up two down to start the sixth inning. Boy there's the perfect pitch right there. The straight change of he hadn't the used it yet in this at bat. And what does he do. He Line uses down. it pulls the string and gets the big strikeout. Line shot to second but it's caught and the side is retired. Three up three down for the Orioles. They're down 2 one. Bottom of the sixth inning now and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year big Aaron Judge. Here comes the first pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle and a base hit so he goes after the first pitch he sees and he's on to open up the inning. Nice execution right there Dan kept his front shoulder in kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there you can't get discouraged sometimes even when you make a good pitch the ball is going to find a hole somewhere that one right up the middle. Luke Voigt is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike it's 0 and 1. That's taken now it's 0 and 2 some action out in the bullpen couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Good waste pitch one and two. I love a well executed change up especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair. Oh look at the sliding stop. It's in time. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Labor Torres. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once in a B maybe once a game maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind Owen two. And he fouls this one off. The next 0 2. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball and it'll hold the count at 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch hit out towards second. Alberto gloves it and the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Aaron Hicks will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. We flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Hard hit at third. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. The Yanks leave one. They lead it two to one.
Coming to the plate now, DJ Stewart. And guys, seventh oh, inning already. Oh. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Oh. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Rio Ruiz stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. Now the 2 0. Uh, could have been 3 and 1. Instead, it's 2 and 2. And it's fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high oh, fastball. A high piece of cheese swung at a miss. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Liner towards second. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. I think that base hit surprised him more than anything. He's gotten so used to setting guys down at nine in a row at that point that he just assumed he'd get him too. No hits to this point. On its way is pitch number 75. Swing and he pops him up. LeMahieu is there to make the catch and the side is retired. Wait, Orioles middle. leave one. They still trail it here two to one. Asher Wojciechowski gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 29. After First delivery to him on the way. Lofted in the air out to right field. Stewart is there and he'll bring this one in. One gone here in the Yankee seventh and that'll bring up Gary Sanchez. Sanchez. Fouled off. And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. Okay. Popped him up. He'll get back there to make the catch in front of the screen as they retire their man here for the Number second two, out. Number 11, Brett Gardner Brett. will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. The 1 0 home. There's a slider that misses below the zone. Two runs, six hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Two and one the count. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Three and one now to Brett Gardner. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And that one is a cold strike as he's rebounded to run it full now. Three and two. A bouncer up the middle. Gardner's going to reach. It's a base hit. Most guys assume they're getting a 3-2 fastball in that count right there, guys. But he was able to keep his hands back, keep his nose in there, and battle for a knock. To the plate now, Kyle Higashioka. And there he goes towards second. This is in the air out to right. Stewart is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. One left for the Yankees. They still lead it 2-1. to one. Stepping into the box, Cedric Mullins. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Zach Britton has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 53. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Sent out to straightaway center field. Hicks is under it. One away. Final line there for the Yankees starting pitcher and he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. Yeah he looked really dialed in from start to finish. 
This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Throw in time at first for route number two. The left field. Digging in the switch hitter, Anthony Santander. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. One ball, no strikes to count. Fouled away. A ball and two strikes now. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Orioles. Our score remains two to one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring in the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a feeble swing that time. It's 0-1. Line towards center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. Hey, that's nice execution right there. Swung through the first slider, got it again, stayed tall, kept his hands back, didn't try and do too much, and delivered a nice base hit. From the stretch. Nobody out, runner on first. Popped him up. Mountcastle moving to his left. One down. Digging in now, Mark Voigt. We could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. First delivery to him on the way. In the dirt here. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Now back. Ready for another Not shot time. now. Labor Torres. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A fastball here as you'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. High in the air out to center field. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Yanks leave one as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Next will be the designated hitter Renato Nunez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah but it was a good change up Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Aroldis Chapman takes the ball now in inning number nine looking to close the door. The 0 1 on its way. And he got him. Ready now, Ryan Mountcastle. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. One run game here in the top of the ninth. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. He throws him on the fastball there. Ryan Mountcastle is retired, and now they're down to their final out in this one. DJ Stewart is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one. And he'll put this one away, and with that, the ball game is over. Man, facing Chapman is not for the faint of heart, as he unleashes fireball after fireball. Gets the final out here, and another save. What a weapon Chapman is. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. The Yanks used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Jay Happ gets the W on the mound. Wade LeBlanc pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. 
For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Yankees, two runs on eight hits, no error. They left six men on base. For the Orioles, one run, four hits, no errors. They left four men on base. The winning pitcher is Jay Happ. The loss goes to Wade LeBlanc. Time of the ball game, two hours and 40 minutes. Our paid attendance here tonight at Yankee Stadium, 47,309. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please get home safely.